What is up guys, Jason Whelan here. Today we are going to train a full chest session. It's gonna be more raw footage focused where we're gonna go through exactly kind of the teaching points, you know, what we're gonna to do to increase muscle in our chest and also what exercises we do and what are optimal for that chest muscle and maybe a little bit of medial delts as well to finish off with. First though, we need to check in, we need to weigh in and we need to get some breakfast into us before we go train. Okay, very quickly, if you can see, we are down to 86 kilos now. So we've already made pretty significant progress. I think we started on 87 and a half kilo, uh, or maybe it was 88 actually, I'm not sure. Um, so we made significant progress so far. Um, now we're just gonna get some check-in photos and see where we are in terms of our actual body composition of our physique. Because the weight in kilos is great to see it dropping week by week kind of at this stage, but more important is what our physique looks like underneath that shirt. So that's where our physique is at with absolutely no pump or like gym lighting or anything like that. Last week's physique update was like gym lighting and also we were after getting like a 90 minute gym session into. So naturally enough, our physique is gonna look a little bit better. This is fasted, no pump, no gym session, no nothing. Just awake like 20 minutes ago. Um, so that's kind of more where our natural physique is at right now. And I'm pretty happy where we're at right now. Okay, so I get a lot of questions on YouTube and Instagram and stuff about what supplements you should take when you are cutting um, or trying to lose weight or you know along those lines. So these are currently the three supplements that I am taking, uh, all from ROS Nutrition. If you want 25% off your order, you can use code Jason at checkout. I'll leave a link below in the description as well. So you can, guys can head straight over to them. Um, this creatine, so I'm taking five grams of creatine a day. I'm also taking one of my zinc, magnesium and vitamin B6 tablets as well, which, help, which helps reduce tiredness and muscle fatigue. Um, and I also take a scoop of protein every single day as well. This salt caramel flavor is really nice. I'm gonna open this bag yet, but I'm gonna open this bag now and have a shake with my breakfast. And then obviously for breakfast, we're still having 60 grams of oats. We're having a little bit of honey and we are having one scoop of this uh, salt caramel protein. So right now, that's kind of my breakfast and my supplement routine, but obviously this is gonna change slightly in terms of the breakfast during the 10 weeks, 12 weeks of the cut. Uh, but the supplements will stay the same. The only supplement, the other supplement I'll take during the process is pre-workout naturally enough. But yeah, that's our supplements right now. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna get some breakfast and then we are gonna get changed and ready for the gym. Okay, we're all ready to go to the gym now. It's gonna take us about an hour to get there. So I'll see you there. Yes, sir. What's happening, brother? How's it? <laughs> a long time so, since yeah. I'm in this car. So we're training, guys, in the gym carlo today. And we're gonna hit chest uh, and a little bit of shoulders. Okay, we're in the gym carlo, guys. We're taking one scoop of our uh, sour apple pre-workout with 300 mils of water. We're gonna hit chest and medial delts now in the gym carlo. Really nice gym. Did a video here the other day. Um, and I don't know about you, but I love these little areas <laughs> where you can sit down and you know, eat a bit of food, eat a bit of chicken and rice, take a bit of free work out in. Um, yeah. <laughs> dry scoop it. <laughs> I'm not dry scooping it. And the reason I'm not dry scooping it, as Chris has just discovered, is that this is this is the, this is the scoop size. I'm not sure if you can see that. That's a fucking humongous scoop. So I'm not dry scooping it. But we are mixing with 300 ml of water. Uh, use code Jason, 25% off this pre-workout. Sour apple, really, really nice pre-workout. Look at the size of that scooper. What? Yeah, that's hefty. What's going on with that? There is how many milligrams of caffeine in it? 200 milligrams 200. of caffeine per scoop as well. Uh, plenty of beta online and everything else included in it. Discount code? Jason for 25% off. Yes, sir. Ok, 
Okay, first exercise we're going to do is going to be lateral raises. This exercise is really good for that medial delt. And it's just a nice little kind of warm up exercise to get our shoulders activated and get us ready for our chest exercise that we're going to do later on in the workout. It's really important that on that exercise that our hands come up before our elbows, okay, and get a really good squeeze at the top of each repetition on that medial delt, that muscle right here that we're trying to train. with like a, a, a machine chest press movement just to get that chest activated before I go into my more compound lift, my, lift like my inclines my machine press or any of those kind of movements you need to get that chest engaged and activated first before we go into those pressing movements okay next exercise we're going to do is going to be incline smith machine press it's a really good exercise because it takes less focus with that stabilization if you're actually just using a barbell whereas on the smith machine you can just focus on that extension and squeezing the chest muscles throughout the entire exercise. exercise again we're going to hit that lateral that medial head of our delts so that muscle right there it's a real this is a cheat code basically for for lateral raises <laughs> because the whole time resistance is going to be placed on that medial delt Okay, because tomorrow is my birthday, I'm 24 tomorrow, so I said I would get a burrito post-training session. That was a really fucking tough training session, and I feel absolutely zonked after it, and I'm kind of on a come down from a little bit of pre-workout now as well. We've got a burrito um, to consume now, probably going to be upwards of a thousand calories for this burrito, but, you know, you got to treat yourself every once in a while, and you can't always be, you know completely strict with yourself and you know we're still early on in this prep so i think we've got room for something like a burrito just look at how fat this burrito is man that is a fat burrito i got um beef guacamole onions cheese peppers and some spicy mexican rice as well mm, that is so good obviously if i was further into prep and i wanted to make this meal even less calories or just get it in a bowl and completely avoid the wrap altogether. But burritos are always a great shout for cutting as well. Because, and again, another thing, instead of getting beef, I could get chicken as well. Make it even more um, macro friendly. I'm gonna leave that at today's video, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's gonna help support the channel. Drop a comment if you can. And also, if you're new here, please drop a subscribe. See you later.